This is a tutorial to help you try to identify two very similar birds that are fairly common here on the Mendocino Coast in winter. They are really tricky. One of them is quite abundant. The other is common. They both occur in the same habitat. They look really similar. One of them is overlooked a lot because it's uh, not a real obvious bird, but it's, it's widespread and probably undercounted on Christmas counts. I'm talking about Hutton's Vireo and the Ruby Crowned Kinglet. Now these two pictures, these are two different birds, and at first glance they look almost identical. But there are, in fact, five different ways that you can try to tell these birds apart. And I'll go through those. By the end of this tutorial, I hope you'll have the tools you need to go out in the field and find these birds and confidently identify them. All right, number one, first and easiest way to tell these birds apart is by their vocalizations. Luckily for us, they both vocalize quite frequently. They're very chatty little birds. And once you hear their vocalizations, you will know immediately which one you have because they really sound quite different. Let's start with the Hutton's Vireo on the left. This is the famous Vireo Sneer. They can do it once or twice or three times. The double sneer. Sometimes they even do three sneers in a row. Nasty little sound for such a cute little bird. Here, for contrast, is the sound of the ruby crowned kinglet. And these guys talk almost constantly when they're foraging. That little jidit jidit call has been likened to the sound of someone painfully hunt and peck typing with two fingers on an old IBM Selectric typewriter. Uh, that's a reference that probably won't resonate with some of the audience, but <laughs> it's uh, kind of a mechanical call, really different from that Vireo sneer. So that's your best way to tell these birds apart. You don't even need to see them. If you hear those calls, you can identify the bird. All right, your best visual clue is the wing bars. Now both of these birds have white wing bars, but the pattern is different. So here we have the ruby crowned kinglet on the left and the Hutton's Vireo on the right. And we can tell them apart because Hutton's Vireo has two prominent white wing bars with a dark patch in between them. And the ruby crowned kinglet has a dark bar behind the white wing bar. So they've got the white wing bar and then the dark bar and then it uh, out towards the wingtips. Do you see what I'm talking about there? Surprisingly, that shows up pretty well in the field on the ruby crown kinglet. The problem is if you're looking at a bird and you can't see that clearly, you can't quite be sure which one you've got and you need a, another clue to help you sort it out. Believe it or not, their feet are a great field mark. You know, they're hard to see, especially when they're moving around a lot and they're small, but it's, a, it's surprising how often you can get a glimpse of the colored feet and tell these birds apart. So on the left, we have the ruby crowned kinglet. He has dark legs and yellow feet, and they're fairly bright yellow. They show up really well in good light. On the right, we have the Hutton's Vireo, which has blue feet, kind of a bluish gray legs and feet, all the same color. So you look for those yellow feet, you know you got a kinglet, blue feet, you got a vireo. The last two clues are quite subtle and require a pretty detailed look, but sometimes you can get close enough. These birds are not real shy. So they both involve the head. In fact, uh, they're right next to each other. The lores are the area between the eye and the bill. On the ruby crown kinglet, as you can see on the left, the lures are dark. They're the same color as the rest of the head. 
And on the Hutton's Vireo, as you see on the right, the lures are pale. So basically on the kinglet, you have this bold white eye ring that makes the bird perennially look, look kind of startled. And on the Hutton's Vireo, the eye ring merges with this pale patch in front of the eye and makes them look even more like they've got makeup on. The other thing you can see uh, is in this in these photos is the bill shape is different. So on the kinglets they have a little narrow sharply pointed bill. Very small bill looks like a little needle when they're out running around in the woods. And the Hutton's Vireo has a much thicker and heavier bill it actually has a little bit of a hook on the tip and this is because they're predominantly flycatchers. They, uh, their mode of getting food is to grab insects frequently on the wing and so they have a heavy bill to accomplish that whereas the kinglets are constantly poking their little bills in underneath leaves and in little crevices and cracks and uh, I'm not entirely sure what all they're getting. Very small insects and probably a large proportion of tiny spiders. So they have different feeding habits and their bills reflect that. You can see this often in the field if you get a really good look. Well, let's go ahead and review now. Here the birds are side by side and you should be able to pretty easily tell which one is which. That bird on the left, you can see the blue feet. You can see the two white wing bars with a dark area between them. You can see the pale lures and the heavy bill. That's your Hutton's Vireo. Bird on the right with the yellow feet, the single wing bar and the dark bar behind it, and the little bitty bill. That's your ruby crown kinglet. Which one's this? Yep, that's a ruby crown kinglet. Yellow feet, dark bar. And that's your Hutton's Vireo with the blue feet and the double white wing bar. Well, there you go. I hope this tutorial gives you the confidence to go out and identify these birds in the field. You should get plenty of opportunities because they're both fairly common, especially right now in the middle of winter. There are ruby crown kinglets everywhere and the Hutton's Vireos are moving around as they always do. If you want some more information about these birds, including uh, how they move around when they're foraging, which is actually another way you can tell them apart. The kinglets have a real distinctive, extremely nervous uh, way of moving about. They're constantly flicking their wings and they're constantly in motion. Whereas the Hutton's Vireo tends to be more deliberate in their movements and they will perch on a branch or a twig and peer about looking for an insect. And if they don't see one, they'll fly to another twig and perch there for a while and look around. And then when they find one, they'll fly out and catch him and frequently return to the perch they started from. So they're much more like fly catchers that way. And if you see a few of them, after you see a few of them, you'll, you'll begin to recognize that. I have put up links on our YouTube channel to some other YouTube videos that will help you see that but I couldn't figure out a way to get them embedded here, so you'll have to go find them. Good luck and happy birding.